Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maverick here with another episode of Tensura. So, last episode, we got real serious real quick, right? Uh, uh, though a lot of you have been saying that this is actually more closer to how the series actually is in its original light novel form, which... To me, it's a good thing, right? Uh, I'm not here to watch cartoon. I'm not here to watch anime. Um, of course, it is nice to have Tinsura like such a lighthearted series, but sometimes you do want to have the stakes a little bit higher and see some actual uh, some actual stakes at hand, right? So we got this entire uh, confrontation between Hinata and Rimuru. Um, I'm really curious to see how exactly Gluttony is going to interact with you know, other humans and so on and so forth, like, how is that gonna work? Uh, is the misunderstanding going to be resolved, or is it actually going to be something that continues on into the future? Uh, and also, like, what's happening back at Tempest, are we actually going to suffer substantial losses, or if it's all just a, a bait and you know, nothing really that bad happened? I know, uh, at this point, with all the houses burning, the whole town burning and whatnot, I do feel like some losses are to be expected. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Alright, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, space time distortion or something. Well, and of course we got to get into the, uh, you know, the opening. I still feel like Gluttony activating that way is really curious. I guess what's supposed to happen is he's supposed to lose his entire form, right? And change into basically a form that can devour everything. Well, in any case. <laughs> Actually, his own unique skill is uh, Devourer, right? Or Predator or something like that. Gluttony is the thing that he got from the Orc Lord. Huh. I think that's what's that was what was confusing me so much the last episode. I was more expecting Well no wait, 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 wait. Is it Predator? It's honestly been been quite a while, so I've kind of forgotten about like what exactly it's supposed to be now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. And this is still within the barrier, right? Okay, five spirits. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be cool if they could all be devoured? Oh yeah, eat them all. So I guess Rumor lost his consciousness at this point. Oh, she did say she served God, right? Hmm. 
Oof. Yeah. That is definitely an ability slash skill worthy of being from the gods or whatnot. Looks like a little piece is still left, or something like that. Yep. <laughs> should it? Should you be doing this? Okay, we don't need to re replay all this. Come on. Isolate if it as a pure spirit. Oh. Okay, yeah, so again, this is like all the way back from last episode. Oh. I see. Wow, you can even do something like that? Yeah, that disintegration. Power of the gods, eh? Oh, I'm glad that you guys made sure that Hinata is gone now. <laughs> okay. Or is his power... Specified destination... Uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, is that because Tempest has been completely destroyed? High potions, right? Um, has had it. <laughs> has. Hmm. 
So it seems that Rumu hasn't exactly suffered any power loss. I was actually thinking uh, that, you know, using that sort of ability might actually cause um, cause him to lose his powers for a bit or something. <laughs> Literally like a line. <laughs> and what about... Woof! Badass. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of carnage and destruction here. Have any people actually been killed? I mean, I would assume some have been killed, considering the carnage here. Yeah, come on, hurry up. What? Oh. Yeah, I don't think... Is this really the time to be doing this, you two? Like, I can understand not killing her, but at least telling her to find a way to reverse it?
I mean, seriously, now is not the time to be doing this. You guys can do that later. Shion? Or Shona? Yeah, there are. I was thinking, like, there's no way there's no actual casualties within this. Oh, damn, that was a long time ago. Oh, wait, so the attackers haven't repelled already? Where's she on in... No, but then again, where's... Where's Sean and... Shona? And yeah, and go up to Hakuro as well. Alright. And here, because the barrier was still up, I was actually thinking that... I was actually thinking that they were still battling.
Oh. The, the king himself is coming out? That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I think Rumoru's court really needs someone with more political understanding. I mean, seriously, you two. Is he still going to be sipping wine? Yep, of course he is. Eh. Well, all right. I will see you guys after this. Well, okay, guys, I guess we just answered a lot of my questions that I had at the beginning of this episode, right? So, indeed, we do have some actual casualties. The Tempest uh, Nation was kind of wrecked in a lot of ways, and some actual deaths did happen, right? And also, Hinata has not gripped quite, uh, you know, un unfurled, untied her misunderstanding of about Rimuru, although... You know, to be honest, even if uh, she accepted that Rimuru did not kill uh, Shizu, right? Uh, something tells me they're probably still going to be on opposite sides uh, for the most part. Just because, you know, she's currently... I mean, she already basically left everyone else because she decided to pursue down that particular path, right? The path of the Holy Knights, Holy Temple, uh, serving God and whatnot. So I don't really quite think that she's going to be all that easily convinced, even if she eventually learns that Rumor was not the one who killed Shizu, right? Or at least not intentionally. Um, but, you know, overall, though, I just feel this episode is so weird to me in a lot of ways, right? Especially with what happened there with Mulan and whatnot. So, you no, know, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's completely, uh, it's completely ridiculous that she's still being defended to this extent. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not saying, like, just kill her right there right there on the spot or something. Like, ben, what Benny Maru is doing, like, I don't know what the hell he's, he wants to do. If he wants to kill her, then I, th I do think that's maybe a little bit too rash or whatnot. But, you know, you could at least restrain her treat her as a prisoner or something right i mean you don't even know like what she's capable of doing and since she's clearly already been willing to like even if she was forced right even if this is not her true intentions or whatnot you can't really predict what she what other things that she's going to do right so you might at least do some sort of precaution against Mulan, and certainly, even though you know we had the Great Sage telling us she wasn't the prime, the one primarily responsible for the weakening of all the monsters and whatnot. You know, the fact still remains that she has used um, a magic barrier, right? She has put up a magic barrier, and I'm sure that you know 
it still had some sort of effect. Like, I'm not saying it's it's like 50% of the effect, but hey, maybe at, at the very least, I would assume it had like 10 or 20% of the effect, right? I mean, it is a strong enough magic barrier that, that covers the entire city of Tempest, and um, you know, it's not exactly something that others can just directly dispel or whatnot, right? Multiple layers still do exist there. Um, and it's still, the thing is, it's still up, right? Unless I'm, I'm mistaking something and only the holy barrier is left now. But um, I, I do believe they mentioned that there was two barriers there at the same time, uh, still right now. So, I mean, at least tell her to, to dispel it or something, right? Um, if you want to defend her, right, you can defend her life. I, I think that there's something fine with that, you know, we shouldn't kill her until we get to the end of the, you know, we get to the bottom of the situation, I can vouch for at least that, um, you know, that, that kind of thing, but to just... I don't know, I, I just feel like the, the entire situation felt really weird to me, um, and the, um, the, the, the treatment of Mulan doesn't really... Uh, make much sense to me to be honest like uh, I, I can totally understand trying to get into the bottom of the situation but just allowing her to, to just uh, continue to run free willy-nilly and whatnot like that I don't know I, I have lots of problems with that kind of way of handling things here um, and speaking of handling things uh, there's also a lot of um, you know a lot of mysteries right now I feel like we we essentially skipped an episode or whatnot, right? Like, what happened to the rest of the people? Like, what happened to the rest of the attackers and whatnot? They literally just attacked a few people and then they just left. So the three uh, heroes, if you will, or, or the outer worlders uh, who who came here and beat up, you know, beat up Sean and, um, and I'm sorry, not Sean, Sean and, and you know, uh, ha Hakuro and, and whatnot. So they just left like that. So they didn't really even wanted to do anything. You know, the last episode, the entire situation seemed like they were about to do some, like even some rather unsavory stuff to Tishion and Shauna and whatnot. And yet, you know, nothing, nothing else happened. Like, what was the, what was the conclusion of that? What was the resolution of that? And certainly, shouldn't Rimuru be asking like where they are? They're, they are both important um, commanders, lieutenants, whatever you want to call it, important pe personnel of Rimuru's court, right? So, shouldn't we at least know where they went and what's actually happening? Um, I don't know. I, like, I just feel like there's a lot of. Maybe, maybe some of this is more implied and whatnot, but literally the first thing that I was thinking of when Rimuru went into the city was that, hey, the barrier is still up, right? There might still be enemies around, and we need to at least uh, give, the, give a quick rundown of the current situation. Are there any enemies left? Uh, how many wounded? How many injured are there? Uh, what's the current situation? Want to at least update on that sort of thing as well, and yet we have nothing of that. I don't know. Like, was this left out in the light novel as well, or they were kind of... Um, you know, rushing things along. Um, and, you know, just to go back to Mulan's situation a little bit as well, uh, I feel like it, it further, uh, you know, n even if we had an entire backstory for Mulan and, and her time with Yuom and, and you know, like, the, the great times that they spent with each other, the budding relationship and all that, even if we had all that, I, I would still be saying the exact same things that I'm saying right now, like, I don't care, at, you know, at this at this point we don't know, like, what potential harm you're going to do, even if it's not of your own volition, you know, we still gotta restrain you, if only for your own protection as well, right? Um, and not to mention, in, in this particular anime adaption, we have absolutely no other information about Mulan, just literally appeared and then suddenly uh you know two dudes are in love with her and now they're defending her to death even without really knowing anything right like i don't know I, to me this is just a lot of question marks and uh, a long line of bad and questionable decisions um is it just me like like again for those light novel readers out there i would genuinely like to know like if they handled this situation a bit more logically if you will um now, the entire, um, they finally do go through, or at least Rumuru finally does learn of the, the, um, you know, the, the potential reasons for why this is happening at the very end there, right? Um, and I think I've been talking about this all the way since the beginning of this season, right? How having a, a nation of monsters pop out of nowhere and building trade routes and then having good relationships with other strong nations as well. Uh, isn't exactly going to be looked on too favorably, right? Um, and, you know, as time goes on and 
knowing that Rimuru only at this point recognizes this, it really, and even for a lot of the court as well, right, a lot of the others as well, it really drives home the fact that they don't have someone who is skilled or at least knowledgeable about, you know, politics, political grandstanding, and that sort of stuff, right? I had, at, I had originally thought that maybe Shauna would be the one, right, the princess would be the one who, who sort of kind of uh, was more in the know about these kinds of matters, but, you know, thinking about it doesn't really make sense, right? Uh, she she was never really in a position to to do this kind of stuff, especially with humans as well. So you know, I I do think that Rumor's court is sorely lacking someone with political understanding. He he needs an actual advisor here. Like the rest of them, they're they're all great generals and whatnot, right? They're they're great people for for getting stuff done. They're they're great for um you know fighting and all that. He needs a strategist. He needs a tactician. He needs someone who can uh, really do some long term and short term planning. Um, instead of um, of just fighters and whatnot. Now, who exactly is that going to be? Like, is there any suitable candidates right now? Like, maybe that merchant there um, at the very end, Mio Mion. Uh, I kind of forgot how to how to pronounce his name. It's it's kind of hard, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, like, maybe, maybe, maybe it's some other people instead. But um, that's definitely a gaping hole that Rumuru should uh, fill in quick if he wants to avoid this kind of situation once again, right? And I'm sure that after this particular incident, um, you know, we're probably going to see Rimuru do things a lot more carefully and a lot more deliberately and also take, you know, take enough measures to, to fill in all the, um, you know, to, to fill in all the potential dangers and avoid these potential dangers. So, I mean, that's, I guess that's, we'll just see how he re resolves this situation. But it, I definitely feel like it has something to do with the king writing out himself. Uh, something tells me that the king is probably going to be captured, humiliated, and, um, you know, who knows, maybe even worse, right? Um, and I am definitely looking forward to seeing uh, Hinata's face once she realizes that Rumuru is not dead. Like, that's going to be fun as well. So, uh, I think those are my thoughts for, for this episode. And once again, like, the biggest you know, question mark and WTF moment to me is definitely the treatment of Mulan here, right? Like, um, you know, I don't know. I, I just feel like they should really, even though we as viewers, we can clearly see that there is some other sort of circumstances in regards to her. I feel like for those, um, for those other characters currently, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the anime and whatnot, they should be using, utilizing a direct, a completely different, um, treatment towards Mulan and even you know even right now even though I know that there are other circumstances in regards to Mulan I would still be finding a way to to at least you know at least keep her safe right you know even if she doesn't want to do it who knows what she's going to do if she's already willing to go this far so I don't know just me just me anyways that's it for episode 31 of Tensura thank you guys I'll see you guys next time bye bye